the car rolled and rolled and rolled and rolled and when it landed I tried to get out of the car and I couldn't move and I couldn't use my fingers and I couldn't feel my legs so I pretty much knew straight away what had happened after the accident I wanted to hide away from the world as I knew it because it's hard to face the world again for me um, to have people see me like this that time probably healed my soul and rebuilt my strength to come back here I started venturing out again in public and do things and feel capable again but I was really really scared I was scared about whether I'd succeed I was scared about how people would see me I was scared about a thousand different things but in the end I you know, realized that it's okay to be scared, but I just needed to dive in and do it and give it a shot. Try to do the best I can every single day and every single minute, you know, one step at a time. Just the fact that you have a spinal cord injury, you know, just those words. I think it scares people or scared people. Sometimes it's gonna be up to you to change things. I guess even me, if you said, hey, this guy's gonna be a doctor with quadriplegia and I was, in a different world under a different set of circumstances. I might be like, hmm, I wonder how that's gonna happen. You know, it, it was a new concept and I understand the fear around it. And if you change things, you're gonna change things for other people that come after you. So, you know, believe that because you, you, can, you can actually do it. You can do it. That's what people have done all through history.